I am that guy that played 2,632 straight consecutive baseball games. I am that guy that broke a record that was thought to be unbreakable, Lou Gehrig's record of 2,130 games. And because I broke that record, everybody automatically thought I had this uh, secret to endurance, to, uh, to longevity, to perseverance, and they always came and asked me about it. And I didn't, never had an answer. Derek Jeter asked me that same question. He was at the All-Star Game in Colorado, and uh, he, I think it was his first All-Star Game, I think it was my 15th or 16th All-Star Game. And he's bouncing around like a sponge, soaking up all this information. And he comes bouncing right up to me and says, Cal, you know, I feel like I get tired after two weeks of playing. Um, I feel like I want to ask Joe Torrey for a day off. You know, how in the world did you do it for 16, 17 years? And so I kind of hemmed, hemmed and hauled around. I said, Derek, I just like to play, and it just kind of happened. And then he gave me this look, this haunting look of disappointment, and he really made me feel bad. <laughs> And at that point, I thought, man, I should have had a better answer for Derek. Here I am, a veteran in the uh, big leagues. I've been in the All-Star game all these times. He comes up to ask me a question, and I don't have the answer for it. So I'm going to figure out an answer for Derek. So I sat down, I did a little exercise. I started writing down the traits a player would have to have to break my record. And I came up with a list of eight really quickly. And I looked at the eight. I was kind of proud of myself. Um, the number was right. You know, that was my old uniform number. <laughs> my original list for Derek was, Number one, you got to have the right approach. Number two, you got to have a strong will to succeed. Number three, you have to have passion. You got to love what you do. Number four, you got to be competitive. Number five, you have to be consistent. Number six, you have to be a person of conviction. Number seven, you have to have strength, both mentally and physically. And number eight, you have to have the ability to manage your life. If there was one thing on this list that I had to attribute being able to break Lou Gehrig's record, it was that I loved every single minute of being a baseball player. I love what I did. And my dad was not very philosophical, but he was in this regard. Very early on, I remember him saying that one of the problems in society today is that too many people are working at jobs they absolutely hate. The secret to your success and the secret to your happiness is to find something you really love to do and go for it with all your might. In our business world, it's amazing that young people today think that they can just operate from the seat of their pants sometimes. They have a good sales presentation they need to go do. They didn't get it all together, they didn't practice it, and all of a sudden they're gonna go in there and ask for the sale. And a lot of times, um, just by their skill alone, maybe they have a little success. But you can't have any long-term success unless you're willing to work and prepare. When you have success, you know, in anything you do in life, and I guess it's human nature, you start to get a little comfortable. And you start to get a little complacent with your behaviors. And you really need to find something that will motivate you, and I think it's a competitive thing, that will actually give you that edge back that you had. And if you can maintain that, you can really push yourself to, uh, uh, to new heights. You can't always get the game-winning hit, and you can't always make the game-saving catch. It's everything that you can do in between that will define your value. It's all the contributions you can make on a daily basis that will make you irreplaceable.